I decided to add a part four to this uh, this series, and here I'm going to be checking my return to headspace when I'm swapping barrels out of the Savage Impulse. So, as I've uh, said in the past, this uh, the Savage Savage Impulse is kind of like a poor man's desert deck where uh, it has a barrel extension in here and it has the receiver just kind of clamps onto that that barrel extension so all i gotta do is you have well this first screw i've already taken out um because that has this little um i don't know what you call it this little thing that that goes into here and actually keeps the um the barrel extension in the right position and these other three just are just clamping screws so these you just have to get loose so this is just minutes after I got done with the head spacing uh, video and I loosen that up I'm gonna pull this out so I can pull out this whole barrel with barrel extension the recoil lug is in there and the idea is that I don't have one set up just yet but I do have another barrel extension and another um, recoil lug and another barrel nut and I'm going to I should be able to to swap barrels just by uh, pulling the barrel out and putting a new one in but what I wanted to find out is when I pull this out and put it back in is my headspace gonna be off so let's see so I just pulled it out I'm gonna put it back in and I'm gonna put this little retainer. Not that just goes on the back side. And I'm gonna tighten these. I'm just gonna get this going. I'm not gonna tighten it down yet. Okay, so I got it there. I'm gonna put the bolt into battery. And then oh, I'm actually going to switch my torque driver because I do want these to be torqued the same every time I do it that should help with repeatability and return to zero and I'm going to torque these to about 40 inch pounds so I'm going to start with start at the back and I don't know there's varying schools of thought on this but I like to just get them get all the bolts or snug first and then I'll go back through and actually torque them from I, I always do it I do this on my desert tech too I do it from back to front I think it probably doesn't matter at all as long as you do it the same way each time so there we go got my barrel back in there and I'm gonna check headspace again so let's pull this out and Here's my go gauge that I was using. You see I do not have tape on the back. So standard go gauge. Let's put that in there. Put it on. You can see that the bolt goes all the way forward. So we're good on the go gauge. Here's a no go gauge. Um, I'll put that in there. And you can see I cannot get this bolt to go forward so we're good as far as that goes but as we saw in the last video i like to be a little bit more precise so i'm gonna get one of my pieces of tape here that i was using this this tape here is um packing tape it measures about two and a half thousandths and i have it pre-cut to the exact size of my um uh, base of my go gauge here so I now I got my tape on there I'm gonna put that in let's see if I can get it to go and I cannot oops put back in there I get the bolt this far but I cannot push it well, there I did. I could, if I slam it, and that's probably comp compressing the tape a little bit. If I slam it forward, then I can get it to go with that piece of tape on it. 
um, but otherwise it's tight. So I know that, you know, the extra two and a half thousand, so that thickness of that tape does not allow me to close the bolt on it, which is exactly what I had when I had it set up here in my vise and I was, um, tightening that barrel nut down. So there you have it. You pull this barrel out, put it back in, um, headspace should be exactly the same every time you do it so you know i'm gonna load up some of my shiny alpha brass here with uh i think i'm gonna be running start with 75 eld probably 40 some hodgin 4350 I'm also looking in a reloader 16. I don't know. That'll be the next video. See you later.